It's a tale of terror, of plaque and gingivitis, and a surprising link to dementia. Yes, you heard that right, dementia. Recent studies having shown a connection between poor oral hygiene and dementia decline. The bacteria that cause gum disease can enter the bloodstream and travel to the brain, potentially leading to inflammation and brain damage. Yes, you heard that right, dementia. The bacteria that cause gum disease can enter the bloodstream and travel to the brain, potentially leading to inflammation and brain damage. Brushing our teeth, flossing. It feels like a chore, something we do out of obligation rather than desire. It's enough to make you want to crawl back in bed and pull the duvet over your head. The comfort of your bed seems far more appealing than the cold, hard truth of dental hygiene. But before you resign yourself to a life of coffee breath and questionable dental hygiene, let me tell you a little story. It's not just about fresh breath or a bright smile. It's about something much more significant. Again, I will say it. It's a tale of terror. You heard that right. Dementia, decline, potentially leading to inflammation and brain damage. Imagine that. Something as simple as neglecting your teeth could have such profound effects on your overall health. It's not just about avoiding cavities or bad breath anymore. It's about protecting your brain and your future. So, the next time you find yourself staring at your reflection with that toothbrush in hand, remember this story. Think about the bigger picture. Brushing and flossing aren't just mundane tasks. They're essential steps in maintaining your health and well-being. Embrace the routine, make it a habit, and take pride in knowing that you're doing something good for yourself. Your future self will thank you for it. Brush, floss, repeat? Yeah, right. More like brush, floss, thrive. Gingivitis, the gateway drug to gum Armageddon. This seemingly minor condition is often overlooked, but it can lead to serious consequences if not treated promptly. Let's start with the basics, shall we? Gingivitis is the initial stage of gum disease, and it's more common than you might think. It occurs when plaque, a sticky film of bacteria, builds up on your teeth and gums. Gum disease, or periodontal disease for those who like to sound fancy, is a bit like a bad house guest who just won't leave. It starts off subtly, but if ignored, it can wreak havoc on your oral health. It all starts innocently enough with gingivitis, the inflammation of your gums. This condition is often painless, which is why many people don't realize they have it. But don't be fooled by its mild beginnings. You know, that charming little condition that makes your gums red, swollen, and about as much fun to look at as a clown at a funeral. If left untreated, gingivitis can progress to more severe forms of gum disease. Think of it as the gateway drug to full-blown gum Armageddon. Once gingivitis advances, it can lead to periodontitis, a more serious condition that can cause tooth loss and damage to the bone that supports your teeth. So, it's crucial to take gingivitis seriously and maintain good oral hygiene to prevent it from escalating. Plaque attack. When bacteria throw a house party in your mouth, it's not as fun as it sounds. Now, you might be wondering what causes this delightful little ailment. Why do these tiny creatures decide to party in your mouth? Well, my friends, it all comes down to plaque. Plaque is that sticky, colorless film of bacteria that constantly forms on your teeth. You know, that sticky film of bacteria that builds up on your teeth like teenagers at a music festival. It's a perfect analogy, because just like teenagers, these bacteria are full of energy and ready to cause some trouble. When you don't brush and floss regularly, these microscopic party animals throw a rave in your mouth, multiplying rapidly and forming colonies. They feed on the sugars and starches left behind from the food you eat, producing acids as a byproduct. These acids are not friendly. They attack your tooth enamel, leading to cavities. But that's not all. These bacteria also produce toxins that irritate your gums and lead to inflammation. This condition is known as gingivitis, the early stage of gum disease. If left untreated, gingivitis can progress to periodontitis, a more severe form of gum disease that can cause tooth loss. And trust me, you don't want to be around when the dental police show up. Regular dental checkups and cleanings are essential to keep these party animals in check. So, remember to brush twice a day, floss daily, and use mouthwash to keep your mouth clean and fresh. Your teeth and gums will thank you, and you'll avoid the unwanted house party in your mouth. 
A healthy mouth leads to a happy life. Keep those bacteria at bay and enjoy a bright, beautiful smile every day. From your gums to your noggin. The Dementia Connection. So we've established that gum disease is about as much fun as a root canal without anesthesia. But here's where things get really interesting. And by interesting, I mean terrifying. Recent research has uncovered a rather unsettling link between gum disease and dementia. Yes, you heard that right. The same bacteria that are busy wreaking havoc in your mouth may also be setting up shop in your brain. The brain wrinkled, not ravaged, by renegade bacteria. Now, I don't know about you, but I rather like my brain. It's a bit wrinkled, perhaps a tad overworked, but it's mine. And the thought of those pesky bacteria setting up camp in my grey matter is enough to make me want to bathe in mouthwash. Scientists believe that these bacterial invaders may trigger inflammation in the brain, leading to the damage and cognitive decline associated with dementia. Flossing. It's not just for picking your teeth anymore. So, what's a person to do? Well, for starters, it might be time to ditch the toothpick and invest in some dental floss. I know, I know, flossing can be about as enjoyable as watching paint dry. But trust me, it's a small price to pay for a healthy mouth and a fighting chance against dementia. Think of it as a workout for your gums, a way to show those bacteria who's boss. A penny for your thoughts, a fortune for your gums. Of course, flossing is just one piece of the puzzle. Regular dental checkups are also crucial. I know, I know, dentists aren't exactly known for their comedic timing. But they can spot the early signs of gum disease and help you keep your mouth and your brain in tip-top shape. Think of it as an investment in your future, both mentally and financially. Because let's face it, dentures are expensive. Laugh now, cry later, the price of dental neglect. So the next time you're tempted to skip brushing your teeth or view flossing as an optional extra, remember this. Neglecting your oral health could have far-reaching consequences. You might think you're getting away with something now, but your brain and your wallet might just have the last laugh. So, you're saying I should brush? In a nutshell, yes. Brush, floss, visit your dentist. It might seem like a drag now, but your future self will thank you for it. And who knows, you might even manage to keep your own teeth. Now wouldn't that be something to smile about? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Done.